The atmosphere became even more tense and uncomfortable. I swoo! Bro, now he's too close. He was in my left ear. I felt his hot breath. I did not like that. Then I heard something. Oh, what is... Oh! Yo, they're jumping me. I'm getting jumped right now. I need help. Massive clawed hands. Bro. Bro, I never... Yo, this is the move. Yo! I've never been jump scared back to back to back to back like that. That's like five in a row. They're going for a world record. Lost his sister and now his friend. Oh, I stop. Yo! Yo, they're teaming up, bro. Oh, my God. I don't want to play this game no more. You would just have to test what happens to an Urkling when it's on fire. I'm buying a flamethrower. Oh! Alright, what's up, YouTube? My name is Kamar. Welcome back to Midnight Evil. Now, if y'all know what this game is about, this game is a reading horror game where your words... You read. I don't know why I just said it like that. But yeah, this is a reading horror game where you have to read to survive. Basically reading this book. I think we're on chapter three right now. I don't know how much chapters there are, but we're getting better at reading. I'm just getting better at reading under pressure. So it's, it's a win-win. I don't die and I get better at reading. All right. This is where we left off, I think. I don't really know. Last time we were reading about... Man, this is, we read a lot. Yeah, I gotta watch the last episode. I know it sounds boring, but the video is actually pretty entertaining. Because uh, if you didn't know, these little gremlins that come and scare you. But we just found out that there's going to be a red gremlin or something about some red demonic gremlin that's also here. I don't know. There we go. Chapter three. All right, let's start. The next day, Maggie's mother visited her daughter's grave, discovering something that was more than a little strange. There we go. Okay, we're back. The earth on the grave was disturbed as if something had clawed its way out. The red gremlin. Okay, just didn't register that. The earth on the grave was disturbed as if something had clawed its way out. Hello? Bro. The earth on the grave was disturbed as if something had clawed its way out. I said of instead of on. Okay. I couldn't help but remember what grandmother had said about the red earthlings. They would burrow inside their victims and eat their way out. Oh, no. Oh, you know, remember, I, I don't want to deal with them. They literally go inside you and eat you like a xenomorph. Could it be that we brought a whole tribe of them right into the village without even knowing it? Whoa. Okay, calm down. I don't see none yet. Calm down. The answer will come soon enough. Jacob McLaren was found torn to shreds in his bed the following morning. Yo, obviously a wild animal had attacked him inside his own home. Yeah. Get back. I'm not scared of the green ones no more. I think, I don't know. <laughs> another devastated family and another funeral this soon after Maggie didn't sit well with anyone. Yeah, y'all got people dying to these little green grim gremlins. The atmosphere became even more tense and uncomfortable. I swoo! Bro, now he's too close. He was in my left ear. I felt his hot breath. I did not like that. I insisted on expecting Jacob's. Bro, why does this happen? Colin approached me afterwards, asking what I was looking for. I told him it was nothing, but he knew better. I told him it was nothing, but he knew better. I told him it was nothing, but he knew better. Thank you. Listen, my reading has been getting better. I, that whole page, I was like, I, I was like an English teacher. You believe me about the monsters, don't you? His young face was determined, determined as he spoke. You're the only one that doesn't look at me like I'm crazy. You're the only, oh my God, this game. You're the only one that doesn't look at me like I'm crazy. I, bro, what? Am I reading wrong? Can I not just? You're the only one that doesn't look at me like I'm crazy. I swallowed hard, started to deny it. I'm about to strangle this game. You're the only one that doesn't look at me like I'm crazy. I swallowed hard and started to deny it. Thank you. But the words caught in my throat and as much as I tried, I couldn't lie. Listen, I put my hands on his shoulders. Oh! What was that green thing? You saw that green thing? I saw that green thing. I saw it. I saw. I see everything. I was coming out of my closet. He never came out the closet before. I called her name over and over. She didn't answer. Then I heard something. Oh, what is... Oh! Yo, they're jumping me. I'm getting jumped right now. I need help. I need help. I'm getting jumped. 
It sounded like chewing. Bro! Yo, look how... They're coming in. Bro! Yo! Oh, yo! Yo, stop. Okay, come on. It was funny at first. Now I don't like it no more. Please stop. I took a few more steps and saw her laying there. All over her were these fat little green monsters. They had mouthfuls of pointy teeth that looked like needles and massive clawed hands. Bro. Bro, I never... Yo, this is the move! Yo! I've never been jump scared back to back to back to back like that. That's like five in a row. They're going for a world record. Just then a twig snapped under my foot. And they all stopped what they were doing and looked right at me. That's when I screamed and they scattered. Bro, these red ones are no joke. They were gone before any of the, the grown-ups got to me. His eyes filled with tears at the memory. Please tell me what they are. His eyes filled with tears at the memory. Please tell me what they are. He was no more than 11 or 12, having just lost his sister and now his friend? Oh, I said, yo! Yo, they're teaming up, bro. Oh my God. I don't wanna play this game no more. I don't wanna play this game no more. No one had believed him when he tried to tell us before. It couldn't have been easy, but he opened up to me. Fine, fine. It couldn't. Oh! It couldn't have been easy, but he opened up to me. It couldn't have been easy, but he. Oh, it couldn't have. Been we sat together by the bonfire late into the night, and I told him all the old stories. God, I hear, I see, I hear everything, but I see nothing. I'm blind, but I can hear. Unfortunately, the one thing that my grandmother hadn't mentioned was how to get rid of them. Unfortunately, the only one thing my ugh, unfortunately the one thing that my grandmother hadn't mentioned was how to get rid of them. Looking into the flames, I got an idea. I knew that the most unholy creatures were repelled by fire. Okay, let's start. Let's start lighting some candles or something, please. We got one right there. Okay, we need another one over here. One in there and one out there. It's so simple. Well, Colin folded his arms. We would just have to test what happens to an Earthling when it's on fire. I'm buying a flamethrower. <laughs> I didn't he didn't make he didn't make he didn't he didn't make noise he didn't like say anything he didn't make noise unfortunately those one thing that my grand the one thing that my grandmother hadn't mentioned was how to get rid of them looking into the flames i got an idea i knew that most unholy creatures were rep repelled by fire well colin folded his arms oh my god look how many just popped up Get your friend, come on. All three of y'all dead. They come in girls with three. We will just have to test what happens to an earthling when it's on fire. Oh, thank God. Chapter three is done. Oh, what is this? What is going on? Hello? Am I glitched? Bro, that was hard. Woo. All right, let's do one. Let's go do another chapter. I don't know how many chapters there are, but we're going to we're be in this game. Colin wanted to tell his friends about the earthlings, but I begged him to keep it a secret. If anyone knew that my grandmother had passed down her Drew, Drudic teachings, it would only take one person to scream witch and I'll be as good as dead. Yo. Yo. Are we good? All right. He agreed and kept my secret. I mixed a potion that would catch fire when touched by the tiniest flame. Okay, you just do that now? Okay, you can just do that? I wish I could do that. Surely this was sending screaming to the underworld. God. He sat quietly in his bed and waited, knowing he mustn't look them in the eye. He must let it. Mm, I saw you, buddy. Come on, where's your brothers? Where's your brothers? Where's your brothers? Yep, close that window. He must let it, it attack, or this would be the only way to get close to it. Just after the stroke of midnight, he began to hear them chuckling and shuffling around in the dark. Clutching the... Yeah, come on, brother. Where's your next one at? I'm killing all of y'all. Close the door on your way out, buddy. Clutching the potion bottle, hands trembling. He lowered his gaze and braced himself. Okay. Sure enough, one of them leapt from his bookshelf and sank his teeth into the flesh of his arm. 
Sure enough, one of the one of them leapt from his bookshelf and sank its teeth in the flesh of his arm. There we go. He screamed and unstopped the bottle. Un yeah, emptying the contents over the green Urkling. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Calm down. It tore a tiny round chuck from his arm and gulped it down just as Colin shoved the candle right into his face. Hey, you're next, I'm gonna do that exactly to you. Huh. I got the candle right here, just gotta make the potion. It lit up like a torch and made a hor horrific high-pitched scream as it ran around the room trying to put itself out. Oh, yeah, get back. I'm not scared of the green ones. The curtains caught on fire as four more Urklings sprang out. From their hiding place, Colin ran outside screaming and cradled his blood-soaked arm. What was that? He f his parents soon joined him outside in a panic trying to figure out what happened. What had happened? Just then, a tiny fireball came racing through the doorway and zigzagged through the woods. Bro. Just then, a tiny fireball came racing through the doorway and zigzagged towards the woods. Bro, there's too many! Okay, three. That was three. I grabbed an empty glass jar from my cupboard and ran after it. I grabbed an empty glass jar from my cupboard and ran after it. What is that going to do? The jar made a thunk sound as it landed over the flaming Urkling. How big is it? And the fire quickly went out. <laughs> the jar made a thunk sound as it landed over the flaming Urkling, and the fire quickly went out. Though blackened from being set ablaze, it was just as spunky as ever. The fire doesn't kill it. I quickly scooped up the jar and screwed the lid on. I quickly scooped up the jar and screwed the lid on. As I made my way back, some of the villagers were trying to put out the fire inside the house, and others were tending to Colin's arm, telling him that it must have been a rat. Whoa, whoa. <clears throat> yeah, villagers are dumb. <laughs> yeah, you need to get out of there, move to the city or something. I don't know. I've never seen a rat quite like this. I shouted and held the jar up high so everyone could see. I've never seen a rat quite like this. I shouted and held the jar up high so everyone could see. Oh my god, they almost got me. Oh my god, they almost got me. I knew I heard something, but I was like, it was just my imagination. Why did I think that? I don't know. I, I d legit don't know in a game about hearing things. The instant they all looked in my direction, their jaws dropped open and Colin's face lit up for the first time since he lost his sister. Yeah, I'm adding words. I gotta stop doing that. He knew everyone finally saw that he had been telling the truth all along, and they all felt terribly ashamed for not believing him in the first place. Okay, I'm good. Unfortunately, the joy of this small victory was short-lived. Okay. For over the next three days, we tried every method we could think of to kill the little wretch. But no matter what horrific thing we did, it, it wouldn't die. We're done. We're done. We are done. We are done. Oh my God. Now this guy's talking in my ear. You don't know what I'm going through right now, Nate or Nicholas, whoever the name was. Listen. I'm going through a lot right now. I got gremlins in my room. I had to read this book for some reason. I don't even like reading. I'm not even too good at it. Who do you have on the phone, Sid? Oh, nah. You got Lucifer. You got... Um... Yeah, no, we gotta go. Nope. Turn that off. Turn the radio off. Yes, sir. We can do... We're already dealing with one demon right now. But I think I'm gonna leave the episode right here. I don't really think there's much chapters left. This game wasn't, I don't think, I think the completion time was like only like an hour-ish time. So we should be done soon enough. I think next episode is going to be finale. So I can finally, you know, prove that I can read perfectly fine. But we'll also be done fighting these gremlins and save, what's her character's name, Gregory? What's the name, Sean? I don't know. I made it up. I don't think we have any. But yeah, no, it was her, It was Cur Curly McGrinkleberry. Something like William McGrinkle, something like that. We're going to save William McGrinkle from this curse he has. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you know when the next episode comes. I should have brought the glasses. I should have brought the glasses. That would have been made just a lot easier because I was messing up. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next episode. Peace.